before Bethlehem. You know, the story of Jesus in the manger. There's a whole backstory. See, Jesus, he has a family tree just like you and just like me. And when we read Jesus's genealogy in the book of Matthew, we typically just kind of skip through it, just like the opening credits of a movie. And But when you slow down and look at the characters that led to Christ coming into the world, it's fascinating. It's full of plot twists and, and all sorts of highs and lows. And we find five women in that story. And the first one is Tamar. <laughs> now, Tamar, everyone would have thought, how did she make the list? Because Tamar's story is crazy, y'all. Tamar has some unthinkable things happen in her life. She was taken advantage of by somebody in her family that was supposed to protect her, actually exploited her. And she's probably thinking, man, how do I even recover from this? God, if you're out there, can you even help me through any of this? And I'm certain that God helped her through that. And then God, in a way that only he can, he has a way of taking terrible things and turning them upside down to be used for his glory. And he takes this woman, Tamar, and the terrible things that were done to her, and he uses that evil that was done to her. Check this out, y'all. He uses that evil and he turns it for good. And that's what God does in the story of Tamar. And he allows her to then go on to be great, great, great grandmother to King David that would then go on to be great, great, great grandmother to Jesus Christ himself. And so if you're watching this thinking, man, terrible things have happened to me. And could God use any of this for his glory? Let me just remind you of the life of Tamar. She is a woman that had unthinkable things done to her, but God used the outcome of her life to lead to the birth of Jesus Christ.